Looking I totally at. connected with Mona Lisa because I was like looking at it and thinking uh, how it speaks to everybody on earth. It's like this mm. marker of the time where it came yeah. from and the artist who made it. But then I was ha having that extra layer of thinking that it was a self-portrait and yeah. a joke. And I sort of thought that I saw that and that it was telling me about sometimes your jokes belong to the people of the future and not the people who are here now. Yeah. This whole season, I have, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it because I have come up with, I mean, I hate to say device, but I have come up with a device to leave the show and to leave each character in a, a transcendental place. Because I'm not, you know, I'm not <clears throat> Three's Company, Seinfeld, or Cheers. I never was. And when they lump me in with that stuff, it kind of disturbs me. But, you know, for a while, I could see how they did it, but I, I uh, came here to say something, and I've said it. And when I leave all these characters, you know, they're loved, and uh, people, it's like when you're, I, I, it's like to me it's a family, an American family, because the way that I'm leaving the characters and the way the characters are, be, are, are growing and the place they're going to end up at the end of this season uh, it upsets people. But it has to, I have to do it because I never want to, I never came here to pander. I came here to say something. And um, people do die, get divorced, <laughs> you know. I mean, television is just like, I, I'm totally in love with the medium of television because I, I feel it's a great art form. That it, it's an art form in itself that hadn't even begun to be explored. But, I mean, it's also like the way it comes out. It's a static, dead, cold, government-approved bunch of crap, you know. And I don't want to be in that, and I never intended to. Is so law? people are upset because whatever and whatever and whatever, but it's going to still happen and I'm still going to do what I came to do. I'm going to do it. This is the only chance I'll ever have to do it. And in a lot of ways, like when I'm thinking about being inspired by uh, Mona Lisa and that being a self-portrait mm -hmm. of him smiling and going, you guys will get this in about 500 years. I, I'm kind of like, yeah, because this kind of the stuff we do, it belongs to people who maybe aren't even here now. I mean, if you're really true to yourself, that sounds like a bunch of crap. God, I'm dull. I'm dull. You know what I mean, though? Mm -hmm. It belongs to something in me that's of the future, not of the past, and not even of the present. Um, and I want to give it to people in the future because I know they're going to rerun it forever. This year I had to decide, well, am I going to do, and I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of my cast members, so it was like, um, am I going to do by robotic consciousness and by rote, or am I going to really go into free creative space? And, and I get really scared. I mean, honestly, I get really, really scared, but I still try to, I still try to go there. Get really scared at what? No, oh, you know, about all the, uh, you know, I'm working for a, 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 you know, a big network, and you know, they question me constantly, and uh, you know, I, I don't know, being punished or kicked out or you know, all that stuff, silenced. I mean, it's just really weird what happened yeah. to me of being who I am and playing a character, and then when they really meshed, when the me really meshed with my character. Um, just a lot of things. It's like the deeper I go, uh, the more superficial the press claims it is. Well, the 